Hey guys, so I'm going to talk a little bit about the Shadow 2 today. Um, we do a lot of holsters for CZ, and uh, we were one of the first in the country to acquire this firearm. Um, this is definitely, I believe, one of the most quintessential out of the box steel framed or alloy framed race guns. Uh, it weighs 2 pounds, 14 ounces, unloaded. Um, it's got Dawson rear adjustable sights, Dawson fiber front. It's got an NIB coated trigger and internals. It's very smooth, so it kind of feels like a Cajun Gunworks uh, trigger job out of the box. Um, very textured aluminum grips. Uh, almost Zev-like extended mag release. Um, I decided to put the extended safety on it. But as you notice, I did machine it and re-blew it. Uh, I shortened the safety to be the same height as the slide stop. When I'm riding it, I do like to thumb the slide stop with my dominant hand, not my off hand. So I was having issues getting to it um, with the factory height. So I machined that down and fit that. But uh, firearm is clear, and you can see Resets real short, real clean. It's not a lot of break. There's a little bit of over travel. I do like the over travel, especially when you're running and gunning. It's a very fast gun to shoot. Um, I like how they um, rounded this area of the trigger guard, which is different from the SPO1s. So when you're running it, you're, you're not catching it on your hand. Uh, they only have a one rail portion universal for the uh, the rail segment. It's not loaded with Picatinny's. Um, the slide serrations are extremely grippy so you can definitely cock from the front or the rear. And uh, this is double single action. You can swap out the trigger to a couple companies are making some flat bow triggers which would render this to a single action only gun. Uh, another big features I like about it are the, the knurling on the front and back back straps, front strap and back strap, the knurling is extremely aggressive and it kind of bobs in here. So when your purchase is there, you have a really good grip. Um, mags are, I don't have a mag on hand, but mags are made by Mekar and they're really cheap. You can get them for like 25, 30 bucks compared to the normal CZ mag prices, which are around $55. So. Definitely a great gun. I definitely recommend it if you plan on doing shooting competition factory. And this was just accepted as, I think Ipsic is now doing this. This is a factory gun uh, that you can race in Ipsic. Uh, don't quote me on that, it might be USPSA. I can't remember. Anyway, thanks a lot. Guys, click like, subscribe, check us out, leave a comment. We love to hear feedback.